It's a beautiful afternoon for football in Melbourne. Melbourne City playing host to the Perth Glory on a famous date in Australian football history, January 31, six years ago. Australia lifted the Asian Cup. And tonight we get to watch A-League action. Is that a signal? Neil Kilkenny with an adjustment of the sleeve. Aspro now makes his move in the middle along with Ingham. Delivery decent. Ingham rises and touched onto the crossbar. In fact, they say no touch off the keeper. It's a goal kick. Rose nicely, Dane Ingham. This is more like it from Kilkenny. His previous free kick, not great. But this one was bang on. Very interesting, Speedy. Latchman is not going forward for set pieces for Perth. Anchoring himself on the halfway line. Here's Subaki. McLaren. Second crack at it. On target, back off the post and tanned over Lapi. He's leading a charmed life in goal at the moment. Given away by Craig Noon. Lovely ball from Fornaroli for Castro. Chance brewing for Perth. Steins and a deflection and Perth have the lead. Daniel Steins is claiming it for his first A-League goal. And Perth have been a little fortunate at the other end. Now they're on top against Melbourne City. Take a ticket in the raffle. You never know what's going to happen Friday night pub night. You might go home with a meat raffle. The Arch pre-game, you, you're half teed up. Here we go. Noon played in. Goal scorer last week. McLaren is there, taps it home. And Melbourne City do have their equaliser. No celebration really from Jamie McLaren who feels he should have maybe a hat-trick already. It's 1-1. The can't close down Noon who picks the angle, does well. But it takes the rebound off the post. And McLaren was going to score eventually. He doesn't get that many sights at goal and not finish. As Kilkenny delivers, Fornaroli is there. So is Dane Ingham, who kept on going, and Perth have the lead again. Or do they? Flag comes really late. Looks pretty good for Perth, this. Yeah, really good for Perth. 23 is the number we're looking at. 22 Ingham, he's on side. The goal is a coming. It's 2-1 Perth. And this is when social media goes, VAR is good again because the goal would not have stood without VAR. All hail VAR. He's ostensibly been a more central midfielder, very dangerous attacking midfielder. I haven't seen a lot of him playing as an out-and-out -out winger. But that's his brief here in the half hour that remains. Joe Kenny again, getting on the end of things in the middle. Brought down by Berenguer and Luna. That was squeezing in at the near post. Brilliant goalkeeping by Tando Valapi. Knew exactly where he was, his bearings were right, then his reflexes did the rest. Tano Valapi. Well, their second goal, the one that separates the teams, came from an almost identical situation in the first half. Kilkenny over the dead ball from the right-hand side. Narrower angle this time compared with the one converted by Dane Ingham on the far post. Kilkenny again, and the header! Threat in the air, and Perth have a two goal buffer with 10 minutes to go in the ball game. What a shock scoreline we're seeing here at Amy Park. The Melbourne City fans are stunned, and Kilkenny has found a teammate again. It is a famous win for the Perth Glory. Their second of the campaign. Again, they prove a bogey side for Melbourne City. But Perth celebrate a priceless three points on the road. 3-1 victors.